Hey, good afternoon. Good Sunday afternoon, everybody. Um, coming out in the garage, and I wanted to take everybody on a look, uh, a little, little look-see into my 36 horsepower VW engine from 1959 that hasn't yet made it into my 59 bug here which is currently powered by its 65 model big bore 40 horsepower engine but uh, I do have the 36 horse on the floor here and we're going to take a look through it um, <clears throat> it's got the Okrasa kit fitted you might have seen it in one of my not so recent videos but um this spaghetti looking engine here is uh like i said it's a 59 36 horse that's been upgraded with the wolfsburg west okrasa kit and that muffler is very gently used um and right now i've got the carb seizure 32 pcibs i don't know what that stands for but that's what the Okrasa kit comes with and this is still this engine. I just refreshed the bearings checked the crank Made sure it looked good um, Put it back together with new 77 millimeter pistons and cylinders and of course it's got the dual port Okrasa heads fitted You see the manifold has two inputs there um, <clears throat> got some uh, I forgot the brand of wires that are on here. They're, a, I think, an 8 millimeter set. Um, anyway, it's got a 009 distributor fitted. And let's see, anything else? Anything else here to mention? You guys have seen it before, but I just wanted to, you know, give a refresher in, in case anyone hasn't seen the engine, which I had running once when I did a cam break in. Kind of give you the lowdown on it skinny on it um six volt battery right now uh hitting a six volt starter and i'm going to be cranking it not necessarily uh today but um i want to see how much uh spin that battery puts on it if if i if i don't like it it's not turning fast enough i may grab my 12 volt battery um and that even with a six volt starter as long as you don't hit it continuously the starters have been known to survive uh, anyway and I've got the ground strap on the transmission here right now the um, charger which is out of the frame here is hooked up and uh, <clears throat> when I'm ready to test fire it I have these you might have noticed already these pretty heavy-duty uh, red cables here this one's going to fit of course on the positive and then the ground strap aforementioned um, I'm kind of simulating what would be in the car with the way it's laid out right now I've got two cables um, this one when it's installed in the car would be in the car and that comes out the little hole in the back and ties onto this starter post and from there um, I've got this other long cable uh, there's the end of it right there that would fit on the generator post this would be for charging and of course this is still a 6 volt generator and 6 volt regulator. I do not know if they work. Um, I don't know that it, it will work unless it's in the car. I think I heard someone say the idiot light must be hooked up in order for the regulator to charge the battery. But I don't know that. So anyway, this, uh, this cable here will fit on this post. And these cables didn't mention it already but they are basically really big cables I bought them for um, a high amp alternator they're they're advertised to fit um, and allow 
the use of like a 75 amp alternator so I'm gonna be putting these to great use but for now I just wanted to plop them on this little engine here and make it um, make it live its best life until I can finish testing it and running it in uh, so anyway yeah there's <clears throat> there's there's what I've got here we're going to um, walk through it at some point but I've got this little thin red cable that will hopefully carry juice from the battery and I've got this Mickey Mouse set up here um, going down and will eventually clip on to the um, lead of the starter I'm sorry the coil what am I saying the uh, positive lead of the coil when I'm ready to fire it up and we're also you'll notice I've got the cap off the distributor um, we're going to be doing a static timing, setting the static timing you are making sure really that it's already set you know from when it was run in before uh, I haven't run this engine since I moved into this new to me house and so no guarantees anything um, is still set I firmly believe in checking everything and not assuming <laughs> you know what assuming does to everybody but um we'll pop that valve cover off we'll make sure that the number one uh, intake and exhaust are at top dead center and then we'll use our timing test light verify that we have uh, a static um, I want to say this engine is to be set to seven and a half degrees before top dead center according to the notch in the pulley and the position of number one piston uh, so we'll be doing that and at some point I do plan to change this six volt generator to a Porsche 356 or 912 90 millimeter I gotta find one and purchase it um, but until then I just need to be careful when I'm swapping batteries back and forth not to hook up for instance the uh, the 12 volt 12 volt battery on the 6 volt starter is fine but I wouldn't want for instance to uh, pump in you know 12 volts into this regulator I might see a few sparks if I were to do that and same thing with the coil here this is a 6 volt coil if and when I get the 90 millimeter Porsche generator I'll swap that out for my blue coil anyway we're gonna be looking at this uh, we're going to talk a little bit about these carbs and um, just walking through a few things before we try and fire this engine up so stay tuned okay so I'm uh, trying to set the static timing and uh, I wanted to mention that my earlier plan to add this cable coming from the starter uh, post which you can see is hooked only to the battery right now um, it was hindered by the fact that this little well the the tip of this will not fit in the space which basically I don't know if you can see it or not but there's a screw of course you can see that then a bracket beneath that and then a plate beneath that the screw will not come all the way out and this tip is too wide to fit in there so I'm not going to maul this cable I could file it down but since this car is not the primary use for this as I mentioned it's for my heavy-duty current draw when I go to a 75 amp alternator uh, one day soon um, that's what I'm going to use it for so this is out of the picture and I'm going to get the I'm going to locate a stock cable see if I can't um, do what I said and get this this uh, regulator hooked in line and see if it's actually working so anyway in the meantime um, what I'm doing now is as you can see I've got the battery hooked up like I said uh, there's a wire coming from that um, and I'm using that in lieu of a key right now I've got a switch and I may may try to wire that thing up for you guys and uh, kind of show you my bench test setup here but for now I'm just doing it the caveman way 
and I'm going to clip this lead onto the positive of the battery and see if I have a, a my jet or sorry my um, test light lights up when I move the distributor which means since the uh, engine notch is located in the split in the case uh, which is seven and a half degrees before top dead center on these old 36s 36 horsepower engines and both number one valves I verified are not moving they're not rocking so that means number one is at TDC or 7.5 degrees before TDC I should say uh, I'm going to try and do this with one hand put my light on the case rotate the distributor and see if this thing comes on oh man this is tough 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 all right hold on okay nothing okay I basically just had to basically reposition the crank pulley it wasn't quite aligned the notch wasn't quite aligned with the center line of the case which is now hidden um, by the test tool anyway so when I move the distributor just a little bit counterclockwise see the light comes on go back clockwise goes off clockwise or counterclockwise comes back on okay that's where I, where I want to lock the timing down that's a static timing um, that is recommended uh, to when you're first starting the um, Okrasa kit here and we, we will go through the setup of the carbs and um, I'll show you how I check the oil pressure and get some gas and see about firing this thing up so stay tuned i just quickly wanted to mention um this is my uh heavy duty battery cable as you know and getting it to fit down on this six volt battery positive post was anything but easy wanted to give you guys some warning the concept here is a great one a big thick cable that can carry or carry heavy current but in practice, these ends are something cheap. Um, I had to beat on it, file on it, and grind it away to get it to go down on there, which it now does. But just a word of warning in case anyone else purchases these, there's, there's a little bit of user um, setup involved. So, all right, and on another note, um, pardon the swirl here in the video, uh, I wanted to give these silicon gaskets that I purchased from Wolfsburg West a whirl, a swirl, a work, whatever you want to call it. wanted to give them a run and uh, get rid of these cork gaskets, which are not always good at sealing. And you have to add, at least in my, in my case, I have to put grease around the lower edge to keep them from leaking like a sieve. So I'm going to get rid of this cork gasket and in its place put one of these aircraft grade silicon gaskets in its place. You, know, you don't have to um, lubricate them according to the Wolfsburg West instructions and um, you just plug them in, stick the valve cover back on and you're in business. So we'll do that and see, see how that works. Okay, there's the new silicon gasket in place uh, inside of this cleaned out, wiped out, degreased 36 horsepower valve cover. This is an OG valve cover. This camera is not going to focus, I don't believe, but there is a VW symbol. So this sucker's legit OG valve cover. Uh, I'm going to be playing around with the idea of purchasing a set of the Wolfsburg West valve covers. But for now, I'll continue to use this. And by the way, I didn't mention it, but these silicon seals are made for both 36 horses in this case and 40 horsepower and up. So if you if you care to try them, 
Um, you can buy them at Wolfsburg West. They're not sponsoring me, so uh, just wanted to throw that in there. Okay, we'll put this gasket or the valve cover back on and uh, consider that part of the video a wrap. All right, uh, as you can see, there's lots of junk in this garage. Um, I don't consider the engine a piece of junk, but there's lots to surround it, lots of junk to go around. Um, we're going to conclude this part of the video. I think what I'm going to do um, to avoid having a run on video is I'm going to make a part two uh, of this video and we're going to actually check the oil pressure and test fire this puppy. And I've got two of these sink meters that I'm going to be using to tune each carburetor, um, synchronize both of them to work together according to the instructions that came with the Okrasa kit. So this is a uh, step beyond the cam break-in we did. We're going to actually tune this engine and get it to uh, be ready if and when I'm going to put it in my car. And uh, we'll see how that goes. I think at the time I put this engine in, I'm going to purchase a uh, new speedometer from ISP West and just consider this um, the zero mile starting point of this engine, which has been rebuilt essentially. Uh, new top end, new bearings, etc. And um, we'll, we'll keep the, the speedometer that's in the car uh, as it is and that we'll keep that one paired with its current big bore 40 horse. So anyway, we'll cover that in the next part. I think I'll conclude this video for today. Appreciate you guys hanging with me in the garage here. And uh, I'm excited here. Let's see what this little 36 horse uh, upgraded engine will do um, and how it will run once we tune it. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, please don't forget to like and comment and share this video if it helps you. Um, tell others about the channel and um, you know, hopefully we'll see a little bit of growth here. Appreciate you guys. Y'all stay safe. God bless everyone. Talk soon.